when I arrived here uh, in 2002, uh, that very same year, a uh, kind of census was made by the government here, and it came out that they were working in the industry, 1,400 developers plus 900 working for IBM. By now, we're talking about almost 40,000 40, talent. The synergy that we have all together in, in a sector, the, the, you know, the, the companies that were involved in the sector, and uh, the institutions like Ijati Cañete and government working all together is what's making Guadalajara you know, a very nice spot to establish a company like this in Rofa. Alisco was the very first state in Mexico to put the IT, technology and science at a secretary level. So that, uh, you know, it's, it was a, a very important move from the government. Uh, and that is, you know, now it's it's part of, of the assets we have. And they're uh, implementing projects to uh, strengthen the capabilities we have here and, and working in terms of developing them. The, the big issue we have, uh, which is something that I think it's one of the biggest obstacles to, to grow fast, even faster, is the language uh, issue. Okay. Because it, it wasn't the culture down here. It wasn't the culture here in Mexico to, to become bilingual like it is in India, like it is in China. We're not selling more to the States because we can't have enough bilingual engineers uh, to join our teams, you know, to communicate fluently. But that is something that is going to be solved in no more than five years because there's mm. so many people. Every company we have a, a English, an English uh, teaching program inside of our company. Mm. Most of the companies, uh, of you know, kind of our size or biggest, they they have their own English teaching programs.